excited to be here. Thank you guys so much for having me. Uh, my name is Valeria Laguna, Val for short, and I'm here representing uh, Procter & Gamble at the Tabler Station plant in Inwood or Martinsburg, West Virginia. And I'm really excited to talk to you guys about what we have to offer uh, from a STEM standpoint here at P&G. So first and foremost, tell you a little bit about myself. I am originally from Venezuela. I moved to the U.S. when I was 10. Grew up in Florida, graduated from the University of Illinois, where I got my mechanical engineering degree, interned for PG three times while I was in, in school, and then started with PG full time um, about seven years ago. And in that time, I started as a process engineer and then became a line leader out in Kansas City making dish soap. Then I got the pleasure of moving out here to start up the Taylor Station plant. Uh, almost four years ago now. And I got to start up our dryer sheet business, our Swiffer business, our dish soap making business, and our surfactants business. And I am now in operations as the dish making senior manager. And when it comes to PNG, um, we are a company of leading brands. You can see a lot of our wonderful brands here on the screen. But not just our brands. We also have a lot of ways that we touch our consumers worldwide, right? So over 5 billion consumers use our brand. Uh, we have over 145 nationalities in our workforce. And uh, we're really excited if some of our diversity and inclusion numbers, I'm really excited to be part of that here at P&G. And we are a 180 year old company and how do we stay relevant? Um, and there's really three facets to that people growth, innovation, and our values. So the first part is people growth. And this is the really important part when we're also talking about, um, you know, having a, awesome college students come work for us. Um, we are, uh, we really focus on what folks can do from day one at our company. Uh, having interned at the company three times, now having multiple interns that have report to me, we really focus on giving folks really valuable work from day one. Um, it's always really exciting for me every summer before our interns come, we actually sit in a room and think about what work we really need to accomplish. And that's the work that we try and give our interns. And because it's work that we're vested in and interested in, it means that they get all of the support that they get. Um, and they're working really closely with their coworkers um, and have that collaborative environment built in from day one. Um, and really the difference between, you know, who you are and who you want to be is what you do. And we really focus, again, on giving people really challenging work. Uh, one of the things that I'm really proud of at p and is that we are promote from within company, which means the majority of our, of our population, I think it's over 85% at this time, uh, got hired right out of college into our company. So that really is our biggest source of talent. Um, and whenever we're hiring people right out of college, we think these are going to be the future leaders of our company. Uh, so it's really important to us from a talent supply uh, standpoint. And therefore, we're going to invest in you from day one, because, again, you are the future leaders of our company. And, you know, it leads to professional growth from day one. From a value standpoint, uh, one of my favorite things about working for P&G is our values. It's really nice to work for a company where I always feel like we're really striving to do the right thing. We've been, have, we've been following these values for 182 years. Um, and you really see it a lot in our community involvement, our environmental goals. Um, you know, I'm still at work, so I'm wearing a mask. I was really proud of our COVID response. We took care of every single employee. You know, we're providing masks every single day for our employees. Uh, making sure everybody's safe and making sure we're enabling really safe work. And then for the last part, um, what also keeps us alive is from an innovation standpoint are things like transformation, brand building, digitization, and data analytics and supply chain. And the reason I'm highlighting these things is because this is where Taylor Station and our manufacturing plant plays a really, really big role. Um, and most important of all is that supply chain piece. Um, P&G is considered a supply chain master. Um, it's an elite category reserved for P&G, Apple, Amazon, and McDonald's um, of being, you know, one of the best supply chains in the world. And what's really, ex and, and, you know, the best way to deal with disruption is to lead it constructively is what our CEO will tell you. 
And what we did to lead it constructively is we built Taylor Station. So when we talk about PNG supply chain transformation, that is why we built Taylor Station in the Northeastern Panhandle of West Virginia. Um, there you see some beautiful pictures of the entrance of our plant. And then you can see up here on the top right, quite a bit of space. We have four businesses out here shipping finished products, including um, our surfactants business as well, which makes the chemicals that go into our dish soap and beauty business. So going back to that big slide of all the PNG brands, Taylor Station is representing four of them. We are making balanced dryer sheets. There's also some other brands of dryer sheets like Gain and Lenore that we also make. Dawn dish soap along with Joy and Ivory dish soap. Pantene shampoos so that then we make shampoo, we make conditioners, and we make body washes. And then we also make Swiffer. Uh, and we'll make Swiffer dry, Swiffer wet, Swiffer wet jet, as well as Swiffer dusters. So it's really exciting to be in one building making all of these products. And what that means is we have a lot of technology that we have under one roof to deliver this. So obviously we have substrate handling technology for the dryer sheets, for the Swiffer. You know, we have liquid handling technology for all of our dish soap and all of our, you know, shampoos, conditioners, and body wash. And it's really exciting, um, again, to have everything under one roof. And if we make all this stuff, we need engineers to make all that stuff. So from a STEM standpoint, there's two main areas that we hire. The primary one is definitely engineering. Um, I'm really proud to say that our plant is actually run by engineers. Our plant manager is, an, is a former engineer. Um, so, well, he's still an engineer. He never lost his degree. Uh, but we hire engineers into multiple areas of the plant. Uh, process engineering, you know, trying to make our process run a little bit better every day. Materials engineers working closely with our raw material suppliers to understand the specifications and constraints of our materials, as well as managing material, material changes, which usually lead to a lot of cost savings. Controls engineers, we certainly also have a lot of robots here at Procter & Gamble. We have them, you know, managing our finished product palettes, our raw material, um, our raw material, uh, you know, bottles that come in. Uh, we also have robots doing, you know, things like our bottle handling, our palletizing. Um, we also hire engineers to be technical equipment owners, so they become the experts on their specific piece of equipment, and they help every single day to drive losses for that equipment, as well as standardization, so that it can be applied not just at our site, but globally because some of our equipment is, you know, we apply globally. We also hire leaders into engineers into our supply chain um, area. So a lot of logistics to run a plant of this size. It's one of the biggest in the PNG network. And we need people to help us figure out how to do this as efficiently as possible. Um, and then we do also have, uh, besides engineers, one area that we also hire science majors, and that's in our lab technician. So we have an analytical lab processing thousands of samples uh, as part of our quality assurance process. And we use uh, scientists in that area to lead a lot of that work. Um, so engineering is certainly a really important part and the product supply sector of PNG, which is where manufacturing is built, is made of engineers, uh, which is really cool. Uh, when you talk about what do you need to be successful at PNG, uh, we think about really three key skills leadership, critical thinking, and collaboration. So again, we are a promote from within company. So we take a lot of pride in really building your capability and investing in you. Um, we don't expect you to come in on day one and be able to take apart a pump and tell me why it failed. But we will certainly teach you how to do that, how to troubleshoot, and how to apply all of the amazing skills that you learned in school into your job every single day. Um, Again, uh, given that we are promote from within, we really value collaboration. We want folks to work together. We have one common goal. And then from a leadership standpoint, we actually hire engineers to be managers um, and, and to really help lead our technicians on a day-to-day -day basis uh, and build their capability, whether it's in troubleshooting, um, you know, or or equipment maintenance or things like that. Uh, so these are kind of the key things that, that we look for. Uh, I had a little bit of fun making a slide, right? I wanted to give you a little bit of a view while trying to, you know, meet our CDA requirements or confidentiality requirements. 
um, of what uh, my day looks like day to day. So like I said, I've been working at PNG for seven years. Um, and here at Tabler Station, we're only three years old. So I was here when we got to, to ship the very first production shipment here. And it's really cool, again, to be part of a plant that um, is moving so quickly and has so much to offer. And, you know, if tomorrow I get sick of making dish soap, I can try and maybe go make some dryer sheets or go make sweeper. Um, so there's always a lot of opportunity, and especially at Taylor Station, um, we certainly are looking for new engineers to come work with us every single day. Um, so in general, uh, whether you come with us from an internship standpoint or you come with us as a full-time hire, uh, we really focus on that challenging and meaningful work from day one, uh, really a world-class learning and development, uh, learning and leadership development. You have access to global leadership, especially at a point like this. You know, we constantly, uh, we're, we're revolutionizing the supply chain. So we constantly get to hear about the impact that we're having um, on the global supply chain. And then uh, we really do care about our values, our PVPs. I'm really proud to be part of some of our diversity inclusion teams. We try and really support flex at work and then focus on that sustainability and social responsibility. And that's a very quick summary, uh, but I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, in general, what you guys, from an outreach standpoint, we do have a classroom outreach team uh, here at the plant ready to go at any time. So if any of teachers from elementary all the way to high school level ever wants a more technical engineering presentation or introduction or even just product demos, maybe more at the elementary level, so the high school's kids still really enjoy that. We have a team of, of school outreach that's here ready to go. And then as you know, our safety protocols change, we do look forward to in the future offering tours of our plant. And that's really what I have for PNG. And again, happy to answer any questions. Awesome. Thank you so much, Val. And I do also want to note that um, for any teachers who are in the, uh, actually in your area, um, Bridge, uh, what is it, Blue, Blue Ridge uh, Technical and Community College all offers a specific P&G certificate program that if you pass all your classes, I, I don't actually remember what the requirements are off the top of my head, but you basically, if you pass all the requirements, you're basically guaranteed a job at P&G. So, which I think is a fabulous deal for probably a lot of students.